What's up everybody? Well, I got another AZ Satellite gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna check out that Saints Row game that everybody seemed to hate when it first came out. But after all these other terrible games came out, uh, it doesn't look so bad by comparison anymore. Obviously that does still by no means makes it a great game, full stop. But I'm just saying it's not as bad as everybody was saying it was now that we have some true bad games to compare it to, but still. Let's see how it runs on the ASUS Ally. We're gonna try it at 1080p with my settings, then I'll drop her down to 720p with my settings. That way we're not sitting here making a 48 minute video and not wasting everybody's time because people can just take my settings and do what they want with them, customize them to their liking. It's not like I'm saying my settings are absolute. You have to use them no matter what or something will come out of the sky and smite thee. No, nothing like that. They're just a suggestion, so. Without wasting any more time, as usual, I will try to hook this thing up to the capture but it never works for me anymore. So we're almost assuredly gonna be coming right back here to be getting some camera gameplay. But first, I have to go mess with the game, find out what works. So I'm gonna go do that, and then we'll turn the camera on as soon as I figure out some settings that work. All right guys, so for 1080p, I've decided on kind of like a 30 FPS target. Because I wanted it to still look pretty nice, so I didn't want to put all the settings on low at 1080p. So I tried to do normal, medium, and like I think one thing on high, make the vehicles look nice. And anastropic max out because that shit literally doesn't like use up any FPS really at all. So those are the FPS I'm going with for 1080p. Gets you 30-ish FPS. It may drop a little under here and there, but for the most part, it's a 30 FPS experience from what I've seen and been playing around so far. And then after we get a little gameplay at this, we'll go and try and get some 720p settings too, and I'll try to get that one closer to 60, I think. Because if you were willing to drop it down to 720p, you probably care more about FPS than graphics. So that's why I do it that way. So, to the game. All right, guys, let's get ourselves a little bit of some camera recorded gameplay here, because that's all we can do on the Ally usually. Hey, why is the sound so low? That's one other thing I've noticed. Sometimes the sound is like super quiet unless you turn it up and down real quick. Hopefully that's not too loud. So yeah, even while driving around super fast, we're dropping to about the same FPS we were dropping on the Steam Deck once we really got going. Nope, there was one of those drips. I guarantee that was a drop to under 20 back there, but like I said, Pretty smooth, though. Oops. I said that, but once you get a lot of effects going, yeah, it drops down like 28, so. Not always gonna be 30, unfortunately. I wished it was, but you'd have to make it look like absolute poop, and then what's the point of 1080p if everything looks like crap? At least my opinion, anyway. All right, let's get back towards the city here. I'm getting too far away from the city, and we might be getting a false, false FPS this year. Oh, hello. Well, I guess we're going down here now. Oh wow, something's on fire over here. It's crafty. Sometimes end game billboards are hilarious. Oh, that rock looks like a frickin' like mountain lion. We will call it mountain lion rock. Oops. You have been listening to the Anvil Chorus from Act Two of Il Trovatore, composed by Giuseppe Verdi between 1850 and 1853, to an Man, Italian that's libretto largely written by Salvadore Camarado based on the play El Trovador by Antonio Garcia Gutierrez. It was Gutierrez's most successful play. Oh, uh -huh. I thought it was going to crash. Has likewise enjoyed enormous success from nope, didn't the crash though, but definitely had some bad stutter right there. But that's why we do these tests. Investigation continues into the Hopefully it doesn't do that like in the middle of a gunfight. That would be not cool. It was the sixth predatory lender to be robbed in as many months. Officials say the incidents could be related. This has been Juana Villalobos, reporting for the Star Register News All right, let's get out of the car. And walk around on foot a little, too. Because it's not like we're always going to be 
in a car. I'm on my way, cops. This don't concern you. Was that about kicking my ass? They're exposed on that side. Another one down. Why don't we now tone her down to 720p? Well, all right. Now we're at 720p. I think I figured out some decent-ish settings to try to get us as close to 60 FPS as we can. So let's go check that out. First off, we can turn that down as well. Almost forgot to do that. Mostly low and normal, unfortunately, but hey, if you're at 720p trying to get FPS, you gotta make some corner cuts. But anyway, with that out of the way, why don't we go ahead and hop back into the game and we'll see how it runs now at 720p with these settings. All right, guys, here we are at 720p. Trying to get the settings to the point where we could get 60-ish FPS. Still gonna drop under here and there, of course, just like it did at 30. Why don't you try and do the 30 to 40 FPS at uh, 1080p. But yeah, on such a small screen, it really doesn't look that bad. Obviously, it looks crisper at 1080p with the settings turned up. But you gotta decide what you want. Do you want 30, 40 FPS, or do you want closer to 60, like 50s and 60s? Because this is definitely smoother. With that variable fresh rate screen, it's super smooth. Once you start dropping in under 30, I think, yeah, I think it's under 30, then you kind of lose that. I don't think it does anything under that. And it goes from 30 all the way up to 120. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what the spec, no seat, way, spec sheet said. <laughs> you could be nice about this. Here we go. Alright, now we'll drive around a little bit. Then I'll get out and run around a little bit more again and towards the end here.
first visit, eh? Yeah, I figure there's gonna be some drops. Ooh. Can't go through that. This thing does not exactly accelerate fast. Whoa. Exactly. That's about how I feel about the acceleration of this vehicle. Hell yeah, though. Apparently it handles as good as, like, a Lamborghini. I can be going, like, 60 and just, like, go, like, right around a fucking corner, like, no problem. Yeah, driving physics are definitely a little weird, but hey, it's a kind of goofy game, so can't harp on it too much. But I can definitely, from what I, little I played, I, I can definitely see why people were making fun of it and calling it a trash game. You better walk the I mean, I can way. still probably have some fun with it, just get really fucking stoned and just play it, beat it, but I would not have wanted to pay no 60, 70 bucks or however much this was when it first came out, no way. That's why I didn't. I think a couple people asked me to play it, I was like, oh no, that game was trash, I'm not wasting my money on that right now. I'll get it later if it ever comes becomes a little cheaper, and it did. I can't remember what I paid for it. It was either 9 bucks or 19 bucks, something like that. But all I know is it's dirt cheap. We have crashed into the tow truck. Challenge accepted? What? Alright. Get out of that guy and let's just run around for a little bit on foot here. camera is getting pretty low on battery. In fact, it's starting to flash red at me, so I should probably go ahead and wrap this up, then put a new battery in, and then get the outro. So let's go do that before it just shuts off on me. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Saints Row on the Asus Ally, and it did a pretty decent job. Very similar to the Steam Deck at 1080p, though it's Steam Deck still got a little bit better FPS seeing as though it's 720p versus 1080p, but wasn't that far behind with higher settings. And then, for 720p, this thing was getting quite a few more FPS. We were getting like more like 60 all the time. Sometimes we would get like 50, 55 on the Steam Deck, but that's why I limited it to 40. This one, I would just limit it to freaking like 50 or 60 or 40 or something too, but it's not as easy to do as it does on the Steam Deck. You'd have to go into the freaking Armory Crate and do it, I'm sure. Or download Afterburner and do it. Or you could probably do it in the Radeon settings too. There's definitely ways to do it, just not as easy as clicking a button and being like, boom, we're done. So, there's some pros and cons to both of them, that's why I like having both of them. But in any case, that is all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.